Hello everyone, welcome to Yellow Pages Nursing. In today's video, we will be discussing about clinical signs of appendicitis. Before entering into the session, if you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Let's get into the topic. What is appendicitis? Appendicitis is defined as an inflammation of the appendix. Now, clinical manifestations of appendicitis it includes pain with low grade fever wave epigastric or periumbilical pain progresses to right lower quadrant pain the pain may feel like a cramp at first and it may get worse when you cough sneeze or move other symptoms include anorexia nausea vomiting loss of appetite constipation or diarrhea flatulence next let's discuss about classical signs of appendicitis first comes Tenderness at McBurney's point. Deep tenderness at McBurney's point, known as McBurney's sign, is a sign of acute appendicitis. McBurney's point is located one third of the distance from the right anterior superior iliac spine to the umbilicus. The next classical sign is Aron's sign. Aron's sign is a referred pain felt in the epigastrium upon continuous firm pressure over McBurney's point. The next sign is rebound tenderness. Rebound tenderness, also known as Blumberg sign, refers to the presence of pain when pressure is removed from the abdomen rather than when applied. Next comes Rosing's sign. Rosing's sign refers to the pain felt in the right lower abdomen upon palpation of the left side of the abdomen. A positive rosing sign is indicative of acute appendicitis characterized by inflammation, infection or swelling of the appendix. Next sign is obdurator sign. Obdurator sign is a clinical sign of acute appendicitis. It is defined as discomfort felt by the subject or patient on the slow internal movement of the hip joint while the right knee is flexed. It indicates an inflamed pelvic appendix that is in contact with the obdurator internus muscle. Next sign is psoas sign. Psoas sign is elicited by having the patient lie on his or her left side while the right thigh is flexed backward. Pain may indicate an inflamed appendix overlying the psoas muscle. The next sign is Dunphy's sign. Dunphy's sign is a medical sign characterized by increased abdominal pain with coughing. It may be an indicator of appendicitis. The extent of tenderness and muscle spasm depends on the location of the appendix. If the inflamed appendix curls around behind the cecum, pain and tenderness may be felt in the lumbar region. If the tip of the inflamed appendix is resting against the rectum, Pain may be felt on defecation. If the tip of the inflamed appendix is near the bladder, then pain is felt on urination. So here you go with clinical signs of appendicitis. If you find this video useful, please like it, subscribe it, share it, and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.